Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to an, uh, <laughs> another action packed, action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. I do apologise about that. I was caught in two minds what I was doing when I was doing that, 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 or that. And it came out like a, like a, a bit like electrocuted or something. Anyway, yes, we're back at Iceland. We're back in the budget playlist and we're having one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. So far, so good. We've not had a bad one of these Iceland one pound ranges. And it's another big value pack at 500 grams. Half a kilo. Uh, it's the shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie at night. I don't think that's, I don't think that's how it goes, is it? Uh, blue sky, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky morning, shepherd's warning, I think. Don't quote me on that. I've just drugged that from the dregs of my brain to try and remember it. So I could have got it completely wrong. I don't nearly messed it up completely anyway. But yes, it's the Iceland out of the one pound freezer. I've got this. I've got another couple of things to do because I did buy quite a few because they were only a quid. With this day and age, you've got to keep things cheap, haven't you? And like I said, if you're on your own, just a quick tip. Or if you're at dinners, taking them to work and you've got a microwave there, why not? You've got a decent dinner for a quid. Now I'm saying it's decent. I haven't tried it yet. But, what I've had so far, out of the pound range, I've not had any complaints yet. They've been decent for a pound. Let's get that right. Decent for a pound. I've had worst ready meals for two, three pound than I've had for these. Have I told you? A pound. Uh, wheat, milk, barley! Uh, rehydrated potato. Hey, shepherd's pie, minced lamb and mustard in mint gravy. Mint gravy. Oh, you've sold it to me already. Uh, we've, we've rehydrated potato topping. Basically instant mash, I think that's what that means. Powdered mash made into mash with water. Rehydrated, slapped. I don't mind. For a pound, I don't give a monkey's right. So yeah, uh, keep frozen one, uh, minus 18, uh, cooks in the microwave for 16 minutes. What the hell? I've got to be careful. I, I normally call my microwave something, but I've been told off. It's not, not appropriate anymore to call it that. So I better not. Right, remove out of package your place in the microwave will plate, cook for eight minutes, stand for one minute, Cook for a further eight minutes, stand one minute before serving. So that's 18 minutes. Two of it, standing. I've come for a long stand, mate. Right. It's about it, really. Don't go overboard with stories and what have you. Nice little packet, though, innit? But uh, let's get down here. And have a shuck his habit. There it is, brothers and sisters. I was just thinking then, when I, were, I had to read back at the instructions there, right? Like we said, we're not putting it in the oven for 55 minutes. And uh, like, there was no mention of piercing the film lid. That's because there isn't one. Look. How is this going to... I can actually take it out of the packet. <laughs> hey, look at that. It smells frozen. You're not going to get much of a smell of it out of anything that's frozen solid. But hey, back on there. On there. And I'll, uh, I might bring you back after eight minutes when we stand it there for a minute just to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'll do that. See you in eight minutes. Right, it's just done. And I've changed the time because it said on the packet. Uh, eight minutes for an 800 watt machine. Mine, as we've established many times, is 900 watts. So, oh, the plate's hot. There is it after seven minutes. Now, the mash is still cold. 
bear in mind it's going to take another seven minutes. But it says to rest it for a minute. I don't understand why you have to rest it for a minute. Whether it's a little settle down or what, I don't know. Just in case it explodes. What the hell is that on there? Foreign object there. Nothing to do with me, I know, I'll assure you. It's quite warm underneath. The plate is hot. Because it has been in seven minutes, hasn't it? So, uh, by the time I finish waffling it, it's going to be another minute. <coughs> How has everyone's weekend been anyway? Take this opportunity to tell you to, uh, it's Monday now. Tomorrow, which is I think the 23rd, 24th of May, a Tuesday, uh, we're going live at 6 o'clock, me and Lou, uh, to thank you guys for getting us up to 8,000 subscribers. Milestone, bang, another one it. Let's hope we can get 10 for Christmas, but I'm going to stop waffling now because this is going to go back, back in my microwave for another 7 minutes. Bye. It's been another 7 minutes. Let's get it out. The uh, shepherd's pie, that is. Oh, shit. Oh, God, the plate's hot. The plate is hotter than the sun. I'm going to have to get me my blobby on for this. There it is, brothers and sisters. I can't handle the plate because it's that hot. Now, we didn't expect that to crisp up or go brown like it would do if it was in the oven, would it? Or under under a grill, or what the Americans call a broiler. Uh, <clears throat> but, do you know what? It's still only a pound. It has took about £18 in electric in the microwave to do it, like, but... Uh, it says to leave to stand for a minute, but I think we'll have to leave that at least five, because that is seriously, seriously hot. There it is, brothers and sisters. I've had to keep the blobby on, because the plate is... It's just so hot. Honest to God, and I've let that I've let that go for five minutes. But there you can see it, you got the uh, you got the meat. Look, you see that you got meat in there. Still what's up with you? Still hotter than the sun. I've a cat that talking to me. <laughs> not bad. Got another one, it's not bad at all. Can't imagine the mash being brilliant. Because there's stuff like that in the microwave, never is. But you can cook it in the oven if you wanted it. It would take a lot longer, it take 55 minutes. But that way you get the browned off, you get the browned off uh, mash. And you can even add cheese to it, couldn't you? You can add stuff to it. Uh, the portion size is a little bit disappointing. And the top of the mash has become like a film in the microwave. Uh, if, so I'll pick up and show you. Look, like a film. Of mash. Right. It focused then just as I moved it. But underneath it's it's, it's proper like it is like it is instant mash underneath. It's gone it's gone kind of a consistency the mash like them uh, the dumplings I did that time. In the chicken stew and dumplings, which everything was soup everything was nice. The dumplings were let down. Probably the mash on this is gonna be let down. hot now it is it tastes just like cheap instant mash but it's lacking it's lacking flavor it's like even if you do your own cheap instant mash you might you might crack some black pepper in there bit of salt bang a bit of butter in it you know just to make it a little bit more edible there's nothing like that in there just re literally is instant mash mashed instant mash mixed and slapped on top it's got absolutely no taste whatsoever the meat inside is is, is not bad bearing in mind it's a shepherd's pie so it should be lamb uh, lamb is so expensive so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna slag it off for a quid no way Might crack a bit of salt on that, on that, on their mashed potatoes after, just to finish it off. So I'm going to eat a bit on camera now because, let's be honest with you, I can feel the heat through me, but Mr. Blobby on the plate already. For a pound? Not bad. Do you know what, brothers and sisters? Get it. 
if you like shepherd's pie and off stuff like that, you will, you will, you'll enjoy it. I suppose even after a couple of, you know, where it's got about two or three minutes left in the microwave, you can still sprinkle some cheese on there. Just to liven that mash up a bit. Or you could add some bit of salt and pepper, like I said, just, just into it. So it's with the mash that like the flavour, not the meat inside. There weren't a right lot of meat to mash ratio, but a lot of it was mash. Probably about 85% of it was instant mash. But for a pound, still like that bastard. For a pound, you can't fault it. If you get it and don't like it, then you've lost a pound. I know, I know a pound. You do a lot of the, I, I shit a pound. Peter K. Joe. Uh, it's a pound, in it? That's all you've lost. Uh, but well, it's a lot of money if you haven't got a pound to lose, I suppose. So if you don't like uh, shepherd's pie, don't like lamby things, then don't bother getting it because you're not going to like it, are you? If you don't like instant mash, which. A lot of people don't, uh, they don't get it, unless you're going to add cheese to it and put some other stuff to it, to make it a little bit more edible. Uh, oh, mind, you can buy a bag of spuds for 97 pence and make your own, a big pot of mash for a quid, can't you? But, but put like what, but a bit of butter in it, a bit of milk, a bit of cream, you know what I mean? Say £1.50, a big pan of mash, you know what I mean? So it's not expensive mash to make. But it's a lot cheaper to use instant mash, especially in a one pound ready meal from Iceland, which I quite liked. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Bah! And become a family member of hashtag Chief CTB, where I love you. Also, if you get this far into the video, I do commend you. It takes some patience <laughs> to get this far into one of my videos. Even I don't get this far into one of my videos unless I'm editing it and then I do skip it. Uh, but yes, tomorrow night, Monday, uh, Tuesday the 24th of May at 6pm, me and Luke are doing an 8k special live stream thanking you guys because without you, this channel would be nothing. Uh, without you sharing it, you telling your mates, stuff like that. And just basically generally supporting this channel either being just watching, pressing the like button, commenting, uh, being a member uh, on the membership of the joy button, uh, sending a PayPal, which helps, doesn't, it helps the channel no end. Uh, also, uh, yeah, just being here, watching this big daft bastard. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night, if I don't see you sooner. Bye!